go to school, get good grades, get yourself some student loan debt, and then get yourself a high paying job so that you can pay off your student loan debt so that you can go and buy yourself a house, pay off your mortgage, all while in the meantime, putting away as much money as possible so that you can retire one day if you live long enough, but you don't wanna to live too long either, right? Because you don't want the money to run out. This is the system. This is the system that we've been taught, right? It's not until I read this book right here that changed everything for me. I followed the system. I did what I was supposed to do. I did what, what the status quo told us, right? They got us at a really early age, right? By the time we're seven years old, our subconscious has already been developed. And when we're taught a system like this, go to school, get good grades, go get a job, work till you die, basically, right? It's ingrained in our minds until people started really questioning, especially the middle class. So when I read this book, I knew that I couldn't stay an employee for the rest of my life because it was costing me too much money. So here's the two things that are very valuable that I learned from this book. And I highly suggest everybody that's in financial crisis right now to get this book. One, employees pay one of the highest taxes there is out there. Have you ever looked at your check and you've wondered, how is it that I work so hard and work so many hours, yet I get taxed so much? Employees are taxed the second most amount in, uh, off of their incomes. That's crazy, right? We're already struggling to get by and yet they take even more from us. So who gets taxed the most? It's the self-employed, the people that own their own jobs. They're taxed the, very, the highest amount. So not only do, are they could have to look after all of their own stuff, they also get taxed the most. They're getting ripped off the most. So who pays little to no taxes then? Well, that's the business owners and the investors. They pay little to no taxes at all. And when I learned about this, I knew I needed to get myself a business. Now I didn't have a hundred thousand or a million dollars to get started and start running my own business, open up a restaurant or anything like that. But what I did have, and I had this massive leverage that I could get my hands on here, and you can too, is we're all inside the digital space right now. We're in the digital era where we can literally start businesses for little to no money and be able to not only start businesses, but highly profitable ones. So I didn't have any money really to get started. So then the second thing I learned inside of this book was how to leverage OPM. What is OPM? It's other people's money. You have a credit card? Maybe you got a credit card. If you haven't paid, if you're not completely up to date on it, there's a good chance that you're paying interest every single month, right? Now, if you're putting money away too, and you're putting money away for retirement, putting money away in a savings account, the bank's literally taking that money that you're putting away in saving and then giving it back to you in the form of credit and then charging you a large amount of interest so that they make money off of you. It's crazy, right? It blows my mind, it blew my mind <laughs> when I heard about this. So when I heard about OPM and leveraging other people's money, it made sense for me because if the bank's gonna make money off of my money, why not make money off of the bank's money? This is the secret of the wealthy. 63% of uh, millionaires and billionaires are all self-made. They started off with nothing and they were able to leverage other people's money in order to get them to where they are today. This is essential, especially if you don't have any money to get started in a business and you know first and foremost that you need to be doing something right now that's going to help your family move forward instead of get caught in the middle of this global crisis that's going to affect literally every single person that doesn't take action on their finances right now.